What's happening, YouTube? YJ Wolf here, and today I'm going to tell you a little story. About what? Well, I'll get to that in a second. And why? Well, I got nothing better to do right now, and uh, I figured doing this is better than nothing. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy my story. Now, this is a story about a person who came to our meetup dressed as Chuck E. Cheese. Why she came like that, I have no idea. And I'm not talking about this being just some fan-made Chuck E. Cheese costume. No, 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 no. This was a legitimate Chuck E. Cheese costume that was actually like from one of the stores. She apparently got it on eBay or something. And uh, yeah, she actually had one of these costumes. So she came in it. It was rather interesting when you think about it. And she could have been one of the coolest people there. But that led to one of the things about it. She was very um, uh, seclusive. She didn't come, she didn't really come very, you know, uh, she wasn't very good on asking questions, essentially. So what that is really means is she came and she was really nasty to a lot of the other furries. But the story just begins with that. That's right, this was absolutely nothing. Her nastiness was nothing. She sh thing. After the meetup, videos were posted of it, which is obvious. I do videos myself too. But the problem is, she immediately commented on all the videos saying, please take Chucky out of these videos. Why? Um, first of all, that's a real bonehead move because the people there said, well, they put their hard work and all of that into these videos. So that's basically, that's a really dick thing to say. And it's a really not very good because you can't exactly get rid of it without taking down the old video and editing a new one. And that was a real shame for a lot of the people there. And a lot of the people naturally tried to defend their videos, which led to problem number two, I believe. So my friend went on a chat with this person to try and sort it out, but it didn't go as well as you think. It started with basically the person saying the video can't, the Chucky can't be in the videos because uh, she would get fired from her job or her Chuck E. Cheese costume would be rounded up and being destroyed. Um, first of all, that is quite unfortunate, but there's a simple solution. Don't bring your costume. And that was one of the things that my friend asked. Why didn't she, why did she bring her costume if there was in such risk? Well, that led to basically a really weird conversation about it. She basically said that uh, she wanted to bring joy to everyone. Well, I'm a furry too, and I want to bring joy to as many people as I can. I love it. But the thing is, if you're going to have a costume that... But, well, the point is, that doesn't justify your costume being, you know, not being good. So I think um, when it comes to this, if anything, my opinion is that she should have just made her own costume that's not related to Chuck E. Cheese at all. Well, no, she brought Chucky because I guess it's what she had. But anyway, the weird thing about this is, um, the thing is, doesn't get, no, the weird thing about this is this. She then said she had she suffered a recent breakup, and that's, uh, yeah, that sucks, but that doesn't really mean you, you should, that doesn't, again, it still doesn't justify why you should risk taking your Chuck E. Cheese costume out. Well, then she said she was depressed. Still, no justification. She said, um, 
one of our favorite YouTubers passed away. Again, bummer for all of us, but again, didn't justify it entirely. Um, I guess that's, that's one of the weird things about this. She basically said, and finally she realized she was losing the argument and went into a hissy fit. Like a true, um, just a true millennial. She realized she was losing the argument and started to collapse. So, first of all, she accused my friend of harassment, which, no, <laughs> there was no justification in any of that. And then all of this thing, it was just ridiculous. So, you know, she basically just, we all came to the conclusion that this this person was unstable and that she needs to hopefully get help. Well, it wasn't over for me though. Nope. I was worried that we were, and I was going to get banned from this meetup because, you know, of her essentially realizing who I was for some reason. And, uh, you know, just saying, Hey, I don't like this person get rid of them, right? So basically it led to me spending the next couple of weeks worried about her coming back. Luckily she didn't, thank God. And I think, though, I don't know, maybe she'll come back soon someday. They keep promising that they won't, they won't, she won't be back. Uh, who knows? Um, well, that's my little story for today. It's probably nothing glamorous. So that's my video. Don't forget to uh, rate, to comment and subscribe. And I'll make a new video. Every say, I try to get a video out almost every week. So I'm RJ Wolf and this message will self-destruct.